M E T H O D man. 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 And we're back. And we're, and we're back. back. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. What's With up, um, America? There's no <laughs> such thing as a week of sex. God damn, man. How do we get that? I, I love the energy, but maybe you should say that for the ending. We're supposed to, we're supposed to, like, we're supposed to build off of that. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it again at the end. All right, man. That, that works. As if there's any. You guys place your bets in now. We're going to remember to do that at the very end. Even, we'll remember to do that in 30 seconds, let alone 20 minutes from now. I'll remember to do it. You won't. Neither I will won't. I. It's like how every time we're like, let's name the episode of this, and we never even remotely crosses our mind when we're thinking what to name the episode. <laughs> Dude, always down for the cause, never down for the count, man. That's what, what I say, man. That's what I say. You're stars and I do the I say it you plan it out. You don't ever say I always say I'm that. I'm pretty sure I said that. And there was that rapper guy that started saying yeah, it after that. I rapper guy, that, 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 that little Shane guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Little Shane started. Yeah. That guy owes me money. <laughs> little Shane, dude. Guy took my line. Dude, so I got this uh, Brittany Gold Shipwreck Vanilla Rum. Not a sponsor. They are now. It is now. <laughs> so we start doing it from now on. Oh, like Ben Herover Barrel Truck of the 50 States. That's not, that's not a thing people say. That's not a thing. It is now. I don't know, man. What, what are you up to? What, what's, what's going on? My name is Jason Bateman. Nice. My grandma came to this country that with fucking $3 sucks. in her pocket. So by the time she line, died, man. she turned that into $90,000. That, that fucking sucks. sucks. This Name's is my boss. Bomb, total fucking asshole. Yeah. Speaking of total fucking assholes. I know I'm going to sound like a bitch whining about this because, oh, boo-hoo, you have to go to work. It's right. not that simple, dude. So I go to a job, right? Yeah, man. And someone, someone, someone here and here, someone listening right now is in Ukraine and, and war tour Ukraine right now. Like, oh, this guy's a tough life? <laughs> they sympathize. <laughs> They're like, oh, boy, I wish I could trade places with him so you could have a much more cozy life with less worry in war torn <laughs> Ukraine. Okay, and everyone well, in Taiwan's like, uh, where next? You know, where next? <laughs> You know, I, I, I preference this by saying, and it's going to be sound like a pussy, mm-hmm. and you turn on put it into those, those um, pr- um, the fucks that when you put it in perspective, you put in those right. perspectives. Right. No, there's no reason to even share the story, because now yeah. I just like a complete pretty, pretty cool, pretty nice little trick out of there, isn't it? No, it's a terrible trick. Every time I go to say anything, you either A, cut me off, or B, make me sound like a fucking idiot. M-E-T-H-O-D, man. M-E-T-H-O-D, man. That's the new, uh, that's the new, uh, I'm playing you off at the Oscars. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like how you're, you're sticking to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, it feels like it's been so long since we've uh, because we actually were productive, dude. And you see our, you see our. Uh, apparently, we talk about Bobby. We lampoon about Tijuana sex work, like Bobby Lee. We get a billion views in the first three days. Yeah. So this episode's either got to a be titled uh, uh, Bobby Theo, Le, Bobby Lee or Theo can't Va- do that no more or Theo Vaughn or, or Theo Vaughn. Um, yeah. Brendan Schraub. Yeah. Just talk about talk about talk about the boys. Even talk though the boys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We can talk about it, man. It's been a while. It has been a while. Um, we talked about this. Uh, I gotta read this for a second, though. Yeah, I'm just talking because you're not good at this. So, <laughs> no, 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 uh, just two. Uh, no, no, I got, I got, no, I got. Just thinking that this podcast is that. fun because it's just like it's just two guys. It's just two bros. Not trying to sound smart at all, you know. I didn't say, did I say two. Bro- don't be a jerk off. Being like, it's just bros broing around, dude. That's just what we are, though. Shut we're just, up, we're just two bros broing around. No, it's like we're not trying to sound smart, and actually, we're trying to sound dumb. Like I say, that's actually what the goal here is. So that's however true. dumb you really think we sound, we're actually really good actors, and you're dumb because you don't realize that we're just joking. We're actually we're actually super smart. We're actually super fucking intelligent. Actually, it's pretty crazy. We're just playing dumb, and anyone who thinks we're dumb is actually dumb for falling for it. Yeah. So fuck you. So fuck you. <laughs> you know, I actually have really thank God, thank God that God gave me really like strong, broad shoulders so I could uh, handle all the hate that gets thrown my way. Thank God for that. You know, people are just mad that I look like I bullied them. I, I didn't. I wasn't a bully in high school. But I look like I bullied them in high school because you know I got these tattoos and like I'm so jacked and like my cool my cool hair <laughs> and I, I you know I, they call me Bapa. You know I dress like I'm Euro trash. You know it's just like that's what people hate me because they're jealous, dude. Yeah, I can't even remotely in any sense of the word understand criticism. Um, I just don't. I don't. Everyone's just a hater. I don't understand why. What about, what about constructive criticism? I'm unfamiliar with that term. It's, it's not. It's not condu- I don't think. No, I don't think it's very conducive at all. I said constructive. Yeah, I don't think it's conducive at all to my well-being for people to criticize me. It's all speeches. I'm not a bully. But I'm not a bully, like but I'll me, fuck you fuck up. You, I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone's like, "What are you guys talking about? Is this like some fucking middle schooler acting out?" No, it's a 40 year old man on a business podcast talking about how he'll fuck people up if they fuck with him. He's a nice guy. 
You know, my wife's been with me through a lot. Back when I was in the UFC, UFC's very love or hate. Very love or hate. It's like, yeah, no, I'm pretty positive. It was a lot of indifference towards you back then, smart guy. All right. I don't think anyone was talking about. I don't think the. I don't think it's gone down in the last ten years of him being a social media guy, being like, you yeah, know, this is this is this is a this is easy work, man. The real the real heavy stuff was back when I was a UFC fighter because you know you know how contentious UFC, you know how big UFC is, where everyone's always talking about. You know, you, you came along on the show that's saying, hey, Brandon, and you, you your your fight last night sucked. Dude, I'm in the business of likability. I'm in the business of likability, man. That's what I be liked. <laughs> that should be the name of the episode. That's what I'm in. I'm in the business of likability, man. We're, but yeah, no, you know, but unlike that guy, we're actually we're actually super smart. We're like smart for sure, for sure. I'm actually a genius. I don't know if you can yeah, tell. Yeah, I'm actually by how like uh, I'm actually like um, other I, like otherworldly intelligence. I think I've actually. proved it with how articulate I've been on this podcast. I, I believe again. I mean, the things we're saying, it's like the comedic <laughs> the, the the amount of intellect you must have to even because I I just believe that comedy is out there. I don't think you create comedy. You just find <laughs> exactly. you, know, you just find comedy, like Schultz said. You just find it. It's like, oh, there's some comedy. Let me pick that off the branch. There's some comedy. That dude's a modern philosopher. That guy's a modern philosopher. You know, you know, <laughs> you know who modern day philosophers are? Philosophers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, who, Norm. Who said that? Was that Confucius? Uh, Confusion say. <laughs> I love that guy. You know, because he does. He's not afraid to call you on your bullshit. <laughs> What's a great fucking DJ movie. Movie. Um, no, it feels say, good to be like, back. Uh, it's like um, Alex and I was gonna say, you know, we're just like we're just, it really is. We're just we're just Man and Shane. Dude. It's like Alex and Robbie secret podcast. That's what my note was about. Fucking Man and Shane. Fucking. But instead of that, we have our last name up, which is the complete opposite of secret podcast. But Port and Jeterson would be real proud of the lack of anonymity we're going with. That's true. We should add our social securities too. Then you'd be really proud. Yeah, of Yeah, Port and Jeterson's like very good. Not no, don't hide by um, anything. Actually, very good. Uh, actually, uh, um, anonymous trolls. Yeah. 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 Imagine no. if we get a comment on this post from Shane. It's like, uh, you guys actually aren't, you are unfunny and uncool and nothing like us whatsoever. Actually, you're not even really like our podcast. You suck. Actually, it's not Fuck true. Fuck you. At all. No, no, we're actually, we're actually a lot like We're actually him, super actually. like you. We're a lot. Like and he's actually, like actually, you're not at all. <laughs> no, I was listening to the, we, you showed me the clip of uh, Matt playing with his flute. I'm watching this thing like, this is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I want that flute. And you're making fun of it. And then when you were saying how me and Matt would get it along, and then you said, what if we had a sibling? Yeah. And I've thought about this many times. Right. I thought, of, what if there was another sibling? Yeah, I threw a wrench in the works. I was like, what if we... Can I, I started laughing to myself. I'm like, what if we had a sibling? We had a third... What if there was like a third Affleck brother? Like, like, a, like a Brian Affleck, you know? <laughs> and I thought, but what if our third brother wasn't like an amalgamation of the two of us? It was just you? It was just a carbon... I mean, I guess his name wouldn't be or Robbie. just you. No, but it wasn't funny. That, that just sounds awesome. It's funny thinking about two of you. It's awesome thinking about two of me. <laughs> okay, well, I think it sounds shitty thinking of two of me. Yeah, at that point, it's hilarious if there was two of you whining about. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. It so I'm shitty. thinking your name would be like, be like. You guys would have to have. You guys would have to. It has would to he have, be the middle kid, or would I, he I be think, after you? No, I think I'd still be the little. I think I'd be the younger brother still. So I think there. So be, be I think there would be a middle kid. Yeah, <laughs> I think there'd be a middle son. I don't think I could be the middle kid in any capacity. I've always thought of there being a third sibling, how that would work with our dynamic, but I never thought of this in depth of yeah. the possibilities. I'm thinking that. You, you, but your guys' names would be like when parents are nauseating and like put their <laughs> kids' names together. Where it's like, what if we're, I don't know, let's do Michelle, Melissa, Ugh. Mary. Let's all have M names in this family, you know. So I'm thinking that if you're Robbie, yeah, it'd be like either they go with like the 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 out the out of left field Robin. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Oh, possibility oh, to be oh, Robbie and Robin, puke. Robbie and Robin, and then, and then there's Alex. Gross. There's the black sheep of the family. I, I, I'm I'm the 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 RFK Junior of the Kennedys, if you will. Dude, I'd be a whiny fucking bitch, and then Robin would be like, "No, he's on to something. If he's being this whiny, there's something to be whiny." About. I know, and he would just back up every Dude, dumb fucking the, thing. They I would to sway say. the amount of it'd be like if uh, you know like how Texas can apparently like change itself into be five states and will have like way more senator senator power because uh -huh. they have all the votes and everything. Uh -huh. It's what would happen. You, now the entire voting block of this family's foundation would be swayed by the the, the, the Robbie party. Yeah, you know what we should do? Since you're speaking of states. Yeah. We should make the fifth tier on our Patreon. When you p subscribe to the tier five, right. it actually gives us enough money to eventually buy out Long Island from yeah. New York State. And we can just make it another state that is our state. Right. How cool would that fucking be? I, uh... Our cult. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's the right place for it. You don't think Long Island is the right place for it? No. Why not? too much access to a major city with people who can, you know, it'd be very easy to send in anti-cult propaganda our way. What, Fire Island? I think we need to go somewhere more remote. Like, it needs to be, like, in the depth, the pits. It can't be in some place that has pop... It, it can't have internet access. They can't have... It can't be a, just a quick ferry ride to a uh, to a neighboring state. 
It needs to be in the middle of a desolate forest where they have no outside communication. That's how cults work. Everyone knows that, Robbie. You're right. You're right. That's why See, this is why leader. I'm the cult leader, and you're just a guy I know. You're just a guy who hitched his ride, okay? <laughs> okay Fucking no, but, but as far as awesome. the JFK, okay, not even a month ago, I'm like, you know, we really need to get another JFK in, in the political, uh, you know, conversation because it's, it's it really is. It's America's royal family. We need more of them, you know? I'm tired of the only news we get is when one of the fucking grandkids ODs in the Chesapeake Bay or on the Kennedy compound. I don't care about that news. I want, you know, I want it to be at least at the heights of Senator, you know, the Senator in Chappaquiddick, you know? I think it'd be awesome. We need Kennedy yeah. back in back in business. Plus, Kansas City, I just found out today that our RFK Jr. is married to fucking Cheryl Hines. That's hilarious. That'd be hilarious to have Cheryl Hines be the floatus. It'd be pretty f- cool because a she's pretty fucking hot. Yeah, I mean that'd be a pretty pretty hot first. Uh, and then floatus. that means that means really we're only like if you think about it, if Cheryl Hines is the first lady of the United States of America, then that means that we're only a few steps away from Gerard Butler being like the Secretary <laughs> of Defense. <laughs> and I, I I support you know I don't care if it's the left the right I support whatever policy has Gerard Butler as the Secretary of Defense for this country. Yeah, and then Larry David could be and the like, uh, Jerry? Secretary of the Treasury. Huh? Treasurer of the state. Who? Larry David. Oh, well, I guess, yeah. That makes sense. See, that, that that's, that's a very interesting approach. You went with, you, you heard Cheryl Hines and said Curb Your Enthusiasm. I heard Cheryl Hines said, remember the ugly truth in 2009? Yeah, I remember that movie, but I don't remember her being. Who She's the, the news she anchor. Left? Oh, it's yeah, her yeah and, with uh, the, the guy from that movie. Arrested Development. Falling. Yeah, Fred oh, Claus, yeah, yeah. that guy, John Michael Higgins. <laughs> yeah, that guy, that guy, I don't know. I like that guy, but I also think that guy fucking sucks. Yeah, he's uh, pretty good at that whole sucking thing. Come, come. Come, 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 come. Yeah, what are you doing? I was just trying to transition so you said your next note because I said everything right. I to say for this episode. That's good. I'm glad that your your contribution lasted the first 11 minutes and 55 seconds. That was 11 minutes? What? Yeah. Dude, I guess I really do suck in bed. Here I am thinking I'm trying to Murray. Really, I'm douching out in five minutes. Yeah, man. Five seconds. Um, Speaking of Chad Michael Murray, Chad Michael Murray is the fucking coolest. You, what, did you pull that note? Where'd you, where'd you pull that note out of the depths of your mind? How'd you pull? How'd you, how'd you find that great information know. to say? <laughs> I like, have no idea. Oh, dude. I know what to say here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just quickly say. Not even an anecdote. I'll just say I like Chad Michael Murray. That's genius, man. That's fucking inspired. That's fucking brilliant, dude. <laughs> Obviously, it is. Where do you find that in you? Honestly. You're always selling yourself short. You're always saying like you know what to say. You don't know what to do on the podcast, and then you then you just you know you you, you throw up a hail mary like. <laughs> oh, let me just quickly say <laughs> offhand that yeah, Chad Michael Murray is cool. Nothing else past that point. It worked, dude. Look where we are you now. You could have at least gone like, dude, Chad Michael Murray, dude, Freaky Friday was the bomb. Have you seen Cinderella's you story? That. You know, Robbie, I was debating in my head between what was funny at Cinderella's <laughs> story or Freaky Friday, and Freaky Friday was the funnier answer. That's why I chose to go Freaky Friday, and then you said Cinderella's story? So shouldn't that prove how good I am as your co-host to say the other movie you were debating without you even yeah. having to say the Madeline movie you were debating? Zima, she's the real Cinderella. Yes, Yeah, she is. Whatever happened to that other girl who was the stepsister who no one ever saw in anything ever again? I can't even picture her face right no, now. No, I just picture two Mountain Zemas because Mountain Zemas has like four sisters who look just like her. What's hilarious is I forgot there was another stepsister yeah. in that movie. I thought it was just Mountain Zemas. Honestly, Zima. I don't like how the stepsisters... Step, you know, Cinderella's, Cinderella is definitely a story about like... It, it's just a great embellishment. It's a real story. This actually happened. But the difference is Cinderella is actually a fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> and her stepsisters were gorgeous, but she was like, I'm so smart. Why has no one talked to me and like me? And then she wrote the story and she and she switched it around, but they were actually ugly and she was actually beautiful. But in real life, we know Cinderella is actually a dog, historically speaking. Historically speaking? This is a, this is a real story, yeah. It's in, it happened in Luxembourg. <laughs> it's a family in Luxembourg. Cinderella actually means... Um, the receiver of great wits <laughs> in when you're in Luxembourg. And then, you know, like all great stories, just the West, we just took it, you know? And now it's just about some dumb Now war. it's about some <laughs> blonde woman in a blue dress and a glass slipper, because that's practical. That makes sense. A glass slipper. Yeah, let me put a shoe on that has no give whatsoever, like I'm a fucking toy. Doesn't even make sense, bro. And not to mention, too, To shoe size, that's it's 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 dumb when the current day police try saying like, oh, we found a footprint that matches your like, you found a footprint. Wow, that's (laughs) awesome. Good on you. I never understood that. Yeah, um, we see here that this is a size um, twelve and a half, and we believe that makes you that's enough. That's that we know you're the criminal. Actually, I wear a size fifteen. Oh, well, um, it says these were Timberlands, and you. I meant to say. Uh, 
we found a 12 and a half women's, 15 men's. And he's like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why Those do we numbers don't go that then? way. Also, what woman was I kidnapping that her feet yeah, were 12? Who, yeah, what are, you, what are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense at all. I don't have to answer your fucking questions. You don't have to answer your questions, right? I know this is, this works. <laughs> Everything you're asking me. If you're asking me questions in the first place, it means you have nothing on me to begin with. If you had information, you wouldn't be asking me any questions. That's if you're right. asking me questions, it means you want me to say something. I'm not going to say anything to you. You know that whole thing where it's like you have the right to remain silent? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, to, but you know, we're, you, 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 you don't you want us to be on your side when this goes down? <laughs> don't you want us to know? Don't, don't you want to have a friend here? Are you, are you the good cop? I have I'm the right actually, to remain silent. I'm actually the bad cop. Yeah, you're pretty a bad cop. I agree. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't say that! <coughs> Can I get a fucking Coke in here or what? Oh, fuck, dude. Where are my Butterfingers at? I'm a little too uh, out of my tree at the moment, man. And then the guy's like, listen, man, I'm just trying to be your friend here. Like, You're not trying to be my friend. You're trying to make me make your job easier. You got nothing on me. You know, I don't thank you enough because I always feel there's an immense amount of pressure on me to co-host. But like, yeah, but I just do all the like 90% of all what I say, you don't even acknowledge. No, it's not worth acknowledging. You don't even like try to counter that or continue off of that. So it's like, I literally don't have to do anything. I know. It's kind of amazing. I'm just talking about an inter- a hypothetical interrogation scene with a I just have to very, sure very ch- smart Person, I just have to make sure I chime in every thirty seconds or so, so you don't get mad at me for not speaking. I don't understand though how cops get people to confess to things. Like, you know when because it's, it's like it's really easy. Actually, I can explain it to you after you say. Why this. being a pussy? No, no, no. It's really easy. All right, what do you got? Usually, what a cop, a good cop, not not it's not the stuff you see on TV. Real right. cops, what real cops do is they dress up as prostitutes and they <laughs> get the guy and they say, "You got really stretched, me yeah. freeze." Yeah, you That's see. How they do it. The problem with you being the problem here's here's your problem, Robbie. That could have been something funny. I but think you, it's pretty funny. It was funny for anyone who knew what you were doing. That's the only people I care about. But you could have you know how like when I take a story no. and I'll like make it, I don't know, more than one sentence. Yeah. You could have gone like, you know, here's what a good cop does. Like a good, a good cop goes on the job and he's real committed to, okay? And he mm-hmm. wants to bust but you should have built the entire thing and then did the punchline. Be like, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna jump to the punchline first. That's and pretty do good. Do nothing else after that and leave it alone. Then it's back to Alex. Put the ball back at Alex's court. I, I got again? my punchline. That's all I needed to do. Those were, those were good notes. Can I try it again? Yeah. All right, so a real cop does. None of that shit you see on two. A real yeah. cop does. Real cop, he gets in the, 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 the deep and gritty of it, man. He goes mm-hmm. down. He goes undercover. He spends seven years down on the streets, right? Mm-hmm. He's selling coke. He's selling his ass. He's doing anything he can to get to the bottom of that case, right? Absolutely. When he gets the perp, he takes him back into the room. That perp, he's pumping. He's pumping and grinding. He's pumping and grinding. The cop goes, wow, you really stretched me. And everybody fucking knocks the door down. SWAT team comes in the window, and they go, freeze. You got him. And they say, job well done there, Captain Kirk. And then Kirk goes, thanks. I spent seven years undercover on this job. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not funny I don't at think all. It was that bad. I, I do. <laughs> well, like I said last week, I'm my biggest fear is on the Brendan Shaw. But this Dude, like, what is wrong? You, <laughs> you still had nothing to the story. You just. <laughs> that was lush with detail. What are you talking about in any of the story? And also, seven years the funny that guy, part that of that undercover joke, for seven years. The funny part of that joke is the fact that he's going through with it, and then he's he, the, the punchline is him saying stretch away after everything. You <laughs> just keep <laughs> screaming stretch like an idiot. Oh, anybody seen South Park? Yes. Get it, dude. You got problems, man. <laughs> you would so fold into the questioning. It's ridiculous. So. Yes, it is. First off, you would you don't you don't even understand what you have the r- anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You didn't even know what that meant. I just want to speak. You didn't know what that meant like a week ago. You were like, uh, it could be used in court of law. No, no, no. They're not saying it could be used in the court of law. I They're know. saying it will be used and in the court I'm of the law. I'm the only idiot in the world that has ever felt for that I one. I didn't say that. Yeah, I'm sure making it all about you. Like you that. Stop making it all about you always. Yeah, I said right. you would full of questions. I didn't say yeah, you're the only person of all time. So that, did I say of all people in all the lands and all the great seas, you're the only one who will full of their questioning? Yeah, kind of did. Your tone absolutely implied the... I think you... Um, gotta get the wax out of your ears! <laughs> <sighs> Speaking of uh, Al Pacino, Heat's free on YouTube right now if anybody wants to watch it. Heat's free on YouTube right now. That's awesome. And you want to see Val Kilmer be hot for one of the last times in his career? Yeah, dude was pretty fucking hot. Yeah. Beautiful body. Great body. Strong body. Good jawline, too. Strong jaw. Great jaw. Yeah, great hair, too. Great head of hair. Strong head of hair. Real thick. Great head of hair. Yeah, tight ass, too. Dude, the Val Kilmer is the entire package, when you think about it. And he's also singing in that fucking Doors movie. So he's really the whole package. Yeah, he was like, hello, can you hear me? Because I'm talking to you right now. That, that one, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and then he was like, uh... We've been here, yes, we have. Nice. Can you tell me it's okay? You think we? You know what's funny too? We could probably just play that song. There's no way that there's no way that there's a DMCA for that. No one owns the the fucking royalties <laughs> that song. That's not a thing that exists. That's just a thing that happened. No one's like, uh, no one's like surfing the web saying, dude, no one better be playing fucking the soundtrack of the jo- the jerk theory, or I'm gonna lose my <laughs> goddamn mind. <laughs> we get a fucking cease and desist from Josh Henderson. Like, actually, I own the license to that song. Um, I am not singing I, that I, song. I have the masters of that song, and <laughs> you guys are fucking done. You guys are done, zo. Remember when that uh didn't come back after everyone was going to come back? What? Dallas, you mean? Yeah, I love when shows. You know when a show like Cobra Kai gets canceled, gets picked up? Right, mm-hmm. Cobra Kai. You know all, all your great shows. Cobra Kai, Last, Last Man, Man Standing. Standing. That was fucking inspired. Nashville, right? Mm-hmm. But then uh, other shows, they hear about those engines that couldn't think. My show will get a second life somewhere else, and the creator comes out and is like, "Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna. We're, you know, we're shopping around for other networks right now. A lot of interest." And then a decade passes and there's been no followers. Like, I guess you didn't get picked up by anyone else. I guess you actually got canceled. I guess you were wrong when they said when they canceled you, they were correct. They did in fact cancel you. <laughs> but what's completely ass though know, is the show was developed by, originally by this guy David Jacobs, I think is his name. Mm-hmm. And then the new Wait, reboot it's Jacob Davids. Probably. Yeah, and, yeah. and the reboot was some Cynthia something. And after they canceled that show, like a year or two later, she fucking did Blood and Oil, which is the exact same thing as Dallas. Yeah, but did Blood and Oil have Don couldn't... Johnson? Yeah, that's the only that's the only difference. I think um, that's a hell of a difference having Don Johnson. I think Link, the Sink's girlfriend, was in it. Annalyn McCord. I think she was in it. No, yeah. no, she's actually in Dallas. I don't remember who the chick was in that show. Actually, I don't know, man. But Don Johnson, Miami Vice, another number one new show. Another great looking guy. Great another body. Great, great body. Strong body. Yeah, Miami Vice was a good show. Dude, I, I'll say it, I've said it before. I'll say it again, dude. The reason Dakota Johnson's so attractive is not because of fucking Melanie Griffith. I'll be. It's well, very, I think she gets her body Johnson. from Melanie Griffith, but the face is really Don Johnson's face. I think based on the 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 chest region, the body is also very much Don Johnson's. You think so? Have you, you seen, seen Working, Working Girl? Girl? Yeah. Again, inspired. <laughs> she's she's got a hot body. Have you ever seen Working Girl, dude? Yeah. The bodies definitely came from the mom. That was my point. I said that. No. Yes, I did. As always, you're just, you know, you're inside the box, and here I am outside the box. No, d- fucking Bobby Lee, play the goddamn clip. I definitely was, said it the first time. Roll, play the clip? I have it rolled back or something, bro. Put, put, you, put a little bit of effort into this, me, man. Okay? I fucking you, set the right you way. You just came across like Damone, <laughs> the, okay? Who's Damone? Mike Damone. <laughs> Shit, that's God. pretty cool, actually. Dude, it wasn't until you said, who's Damone? If all else fails, please Dude, No, suck. you don't get to do that. All right, fine, you said, you who's Damone? It. Sorry. What the hell's wrong? I Who haven't the heard the name Damone. It's been, it's been many a moons ago since I've heard the name Damone. When was the... Whatever, bro. That's that's such a bullshit. I don't take kind of excuses like that. I haven't responded to that name in years. Yeah? <laughs> Do you know what I was doing just now? No. <laughs> who's um, who's uh, Sweet D's friend? What's her name? Artemis. Yeah, I was doing Artemis when she does that. When she's for the first episode she's in, when she's just fucking doing Coyote Ugly. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Coyote Ugly part. <laughs> that chick's hilarious. You don't get what I'm doing? No. She's like, I don't know what the fuck she is. She's like, I haven't responded. I haven't done that in years. Oh, she's doing the actual scene from the Coyote yeah, Ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I did. Working in I was the trying Coyote to sound like Ugly. Her. Yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought I sounded like her. Apparently not. I'm glad you thought. Well, that's so. 24 minutes, so we get to end episode on that. Awesome. That, 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 yeah. Wait, hold on. There's no. Not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening. I get the five words.